Hi there, I thought I'd make a video right before the year ends and um, well a little bit before the year ends because I'm going away soon and um, I thought I'd make it now just to extend a huge thank you to you for this year. Um, it's been an amazing year, it's been such a big year, like we've done so many things this year and the really good thing about this year is that we did a load of things for next year which doesn't make much sense but we spent a lot of time creating things for you that will appear next year um, which may have meant that from your perspective it looked a bit looked a bit blank over the summer kind of but actually it, it was just when I go dark it means that something terrible is going on like something truly horrendous um, and I've been stateside seven or eight times this year um, once for an extended period of time as well um, but just finishing and touching up and helping with a few things that I can can help with and um, But there's a lot about to happen and a lot that's just happened and I wanted to talk about that because this is something I'm really proud of this is something called Monad um, By portraits you probably already know about this, but this is Monad and this is a lovely physical copy um, With a real oil painting of me who looks incredibly sad on the back, that is that is me who I really want to hug that me, because he looks awful. Um, but this is Monad, and I must dropped it then. Um, this I didn't think was going to do. I didn't know how this was going to go, because it's a bit. There's a lot to take in um, with this record, but um, it's been taken better than anything we've, wife, or we've ever released I heard it just flew out to the point where we've had to order more now and this is coming from an album that has an instruction manual literally an instruction well not literally but you know there's a lot of research that went into this record and a lot of it is um, in this little booklet which you can which I think as of today which is the day that we're recording this video I don't know when you're going to get it but as of today this will be downloadable from uh, records.com if you weren't part of the Kickstarter. This is a slightly filtered version of the actual syllabus that John, I was going to say John and I, but I did such a tiny part of it that John created this. And um, it's incredible. It's such an interesting read. Like I've read it, <laughs> I think, 10 times now. Um, and I, I helped write the songs and I'm still reading it. Because it's that we, we covered so ah I've dropped it I've just dropped something else I don't believe it. I was going to restart because I've dropped two highly prized bits of no um, it's really strange because we wrote these songs and they're really I was going to say eccentric songs but really specific songs is probably a better word I don't think this has ever been done before what we've just done which doesn't mean it should be done again it just means that it's never been done like the research and the body of work behind the music um, you know it's been done in the sense of the musicality before but never the research behind the lyrical content and what's really strange is that I imagine there are people who who don't get it because because I'm gonna pick up another one because there's like 20 of them here uh, because this helps this kind of unlocks it and it's a really weird listen if you don't have the cheat codes um, but also that's part of the fascination. Reading this is cheating. Um, but that's part of the fascination with portraits. I've never, ever, and I've written, I don't know how many albums I've made in my life, 50, 60? No, way more than that, way more. Or been a part of hundreds, but I mean, of my own, in different bands. I've never had to have an instruction manual for a record before, and I love it. I would definitely do that again. Um, but portraits is, um, I'm going to throw it on the floor because it's that kind of day. Um, it's gone really well. We've um, immediately surpassed what we thought we were going to do um, in terms of sales. But the response has just been incredible. Like the essay responses, I'm loving them already. Like they're just coming in and uh, it's, um, they're really cool reads because what you don't realize is some people this is like the album they've been waiting for for some reason this is the album they've been waiting for and uh it kind of fills a void left by by some other acts i guess i don't know but it really itches 
the right spot for certain people. Um, so that's Monad, and we're so, so proud of it. And it's available now. You can get the... You can order a physical now, but we're still waiting for more physicals because they've all gone. Um, but you can order digital or the iTunes version or whatever you do. I don't know where else it is. I'm sure it's in other places too. But um, that's that. Oh, there's loads of other stuff. There's like T-shirts. Look, I'm on a merch thing now. I'm, ne I'm next to the work merch bench. T-shirts. Look at that. That is such a cool fucking sign. John created this sign and um, it's like super secret what what it's actually about like it's got so much stuff in it it's, and i'm good at hiding things but he's very good at it and uh, we've got a full-size framed glass poster about to wing its way to some um say some lucky person but some unlucky person who just bought it um but these are really nice we need to get one of these um i saw on the hurt i didn't see it. i mean i know that they were coming but on the hurt on the store um there's like this poster and then so the idea is that there's this poster and then either side here and over here would be john and i the oil portraits of us and i thought is it so is it a bit donald trumpy to have uh an oil canvas painting of yourself on your wall and and it absolutely is so i'm not going to do it um but if you want an oil canvas painting of me or lovely john on your wall then <laughs> you know where to go um so that's that. It's been a it's been an amazing year from that from that respect. But um, so I wanted to address something which I, I get asked about. Feels like every hour of every day, um, which is some of the other projects. And I'm not going to name them because what I've decided to do now is not give release schedules for for anything because um, I've done three interviews this week and I've said the same thing three times. So it feels like I'm. Uh, it feels like deja vu, but. You've got to remember that it's just me. Um, you know, I mean, the music side is just me. There are people who are helping with Hurt, um, you know, packaging and the website stuff. That's that's all different. But the music side of what we do, it's just me. So I record, engineer it, write it to begin with, compose if I have to. Uh, lyricize, is that a word? No one knows. Um, uh, mix sometimes uh, more often I'm mixing now mastering uh, actually no I don't do mastering myself I, I don't know the first thing about mastering uh, but then the artwork I work with uh, Will who's our graphics guy here and we do that stuff and it's just like it's a lot of it falls to me um, so and people wonder where things are like they wonder where's this record where's that record well give me a break they're all coming um that's all I'd say, is that they're all coming. And uh, some sooner than others, uh, which is a pretty obvious statement, but, but for the first time, the day, that, the day before Monad came out, there were four albums ready to launch that day. Um, now there's only three, which is annoying because Monad's out. That's the most I've ever had at once, just waiting. Um, but Monad was always the most important because it's incredible. I mean, the other albums are amazing. I love them, but... I can finally start listening to my own music as well because it's getting to the point where I feel confident enough mixing to deign to listen to my own music. Um, it's a really weird thing. But uh, but yeah, Monab was always the most important. Also, it was also really important because the Kickstarter campaign, we had to, um, you know, there's people who put their trust in us and we had to deliver, and we still are delivering. You know, there's more T-shirts going out. My lovely portrait's guitar is going out tomorrow. Ah, oh, that's gonna suck. I should do some last videos of that because I'll never have to hold it again. Unless I could buy it back one day. We'll see. Um, I've had to get that reset up because it was in such a fucked up tuning and such a fucked up mess. My portraits, it's not, it's not a nice thing to play portraits on guitar or any of it. It's not nice. It's, uh, it's all, almost the entire album is two handed. And it's all in this weird tuning that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Um, although, not a bad affliction. And uh, playing guitar every day, not a bad thing to do. But uh, that's going out tomorrow. So, today, um, later on today, we have day two of rehearsals. We had a rehearsal three weeks ago for, no, almost a month ago, for a, a live show that we're doing uh, next December. 
which is a really big deal and a lot of work's going into it. Um, but it's just one of those things that, again, it's only, that's more than just me, but I mean, there's only I mean, 10 of us working on that, less than that, seven of us working on that. So, um, you know, these things take time and to get them right, it takes time, but we're playing through some, um, I'm being cryptic again, I don't mean to, but we're playing through some zombie songs and uh, trying to stop being cryptic as I'm talking. We're playing through some zombie songs and some of the most recent zombie songs are just so fucking heavy. Like, I listen back to like Zombies 1 and think this is, this was pretty heavy for the time. And I listen to Zombies 3 and I think this is less heavy, but it's like, you know, there are nice sections, nice parts of it. And I listen to Zombies 2 and I just think, oh my God, how's my voice? going to to do this for like two hours um but it's working out okay uh there's a few technical issues because there there is a backing track as such it's not like kind of two down we play with some actual things in our backing track but there is there's a constant timer going on with zombies too so although not every song needs it some songs have like orchestral parts that will that will need a backing track um, at certain points. Um, but the whole, the hardest part so far of the, the live show is that the whole thing is on rails. So the whole thing from start to end is predetermined time-wise. It's really important because there are actors, there's a, there's a couple of dance scenes. Um, it sounds so weird, like Boogie is not like that. They're called the Widows and they're fucking mental. It's amazing. And they come on while we're playing the, some songs or three songs. Um, but the whole thing from start to end um, is 100 and, 100 and, I was say 115, but I think it's something like 118 minutes long. That would have been good, actually, 150. Why didn't I think of that? Wasn't thinking, wasn't being cryptic enough. This is the problem, I dropped the ball. But um, it's, it's, it's quite long, and the whole thing from start to end has to be exactly the right length um, because there are like triggers at certain points. We're also... The lighting cues are working off of the um, synchronized synch track. So it's like, um, it's just a lot of stuff that I don't know about. I didn't know about any of this stuff till recently. And it's just a lot to do. And well, I mean, we've got time luckily, which is great. And we want it to be really good. And, and it will be really good. It's just, you know, these things take a hell of a lot of time to do. And I want to get in at least another 10 practices before then. There's got to be... Uh, not a dress rehearsal, but a camera rehearsal, a couple of camera rehearsals, um, audio cue rehearsals, um, audio hook rehearsals, which are the literally testing out the recordings of everything to making sure everything's working right. Because we only get one shot at this um, live performance, and that's it. Um, there's nothing else after that. So it has to be perfect on the night. Nothing can go wrong. Um, from our point of view, playing the music, and there's some voiceover work I've got to do on the night but then there's the technical side of it which is beyond me but then it's all really important stuff um, so uh, it's just it needs more work um, so tonight again tonight I'm being very specific tonight I think um, I'm introducing you to a new uh, new project that I, I've been working on um, and actually John and I jumped straight into bed Whoa, where did that come from? It's just subconscious. John and I, as soon as Portraits ended, we've started to work on other things immediately. Um, so that uh, two sets of things. Um, so one of them is this project that's coming that, that you get a kind of teaser track for tonight. Um, and it's kind of, I guess it's going to sound more like Quiet One tonight, but it actually isn't anything like that. Um, but it was like an acoustic set we shot in here a few weeks ago. Um, uh, but the actual thing isn't isn't quite like that. Uh, but that's so. Uh, you'll see it tonight. I don't want to ruin the surprise. But there's a new. Um, there's a couple of new things happening. But that's one of them. Then I've when I went dark over the summer. Um, uh, for two and a half months, I went to Swords. Uh, no, for for less than two months. Sorry, but then I went back half a month later, and we finished off some things. I went to Swords in Ireland. Um, which is near Dublin, and spent a lot of time with like one of my musical heroes, and 
uh, found a brother kind of thing. Like, he is fucking amazing. Um, and super dedicated. And he's just made a record. And I helped do a few odds and sods on his record. Wanted to do that for years. Been, like, typing letters. Like, I must help you because I know a thing or two about the cello. Or, have you heard of the bassoon? Uh, <laughs> that'll be a meme. Have you heard of the bassoon? I don't want that to be a meme. Don't. Um, but it, it's just something that I've really wanted to do. And um, my manager, when we had, man what was that, three years ago? Even from then, I remember telling him, you've got to get me on this bill. Like, I need to be doing something with this guy. And that guy at the time was working in LA um, on an album at the time. Now he's back at home and I've been working on some very cool things that are coming out, uh, I think, mid next year. And I get a name credit with my real name, which is going to be scary because that's the first time that's that's going to be really scary now that I've ruined it as well. It's really scary. Um, but I've been working with a guy, um, or well, earlier on in the year, we met a band who did extremely well um, all of last year and the year before they were doing well. And I met a guy um, and we started working on something called Zero Royal together. And uh, they've been touring pretty heavily since. So Zero Royal's kind of turned into something slightly different now because he's only on one track. Uh, he was supposed to be on all six of the EP tracks because it was supposed to be our kind of deal. No, it wasn't our deal. I mean, it was the kind of deal of the band. It was like he was the vocal guy. Um, but that's unfortunately changed because of circumstance. But um, he's still really into it. It's just time is really is an issue and we've tried to do things like he's tried to record vocals while he's on his bus like on the on the, on the, on the bus on his like tour bus it's just not working very well um, and I'd rather wait and get it right so the EP the first EP from something called Zero Royal will be um, not quite as the band would be but it's still really cool music and really interesting music and um, but then if we did an album next year um, which we've been talking about recently. Um, just expect it to not feature me so much vocally because because he's amazing and I'm a, I have a very specific voice and he he has a less specific voice and it's it's amazing. Uh, uh, some music that I really really do enjoy and it's very new to me as well. So moving on. Um, sorry, this is so boring. I don't know if anyone even watches the end of these videos. I'm going to be talking anyway because. I, this mental housekeeping up here for me. I'm looking at my boards. I've got um, a gaming EP coming out next year, very early next year, really early next year. Um, I'm not going to give dates or anything though. Although there is a specific date for that because the mastering date's already been set, uh, which is based on my favourite ever uh, game series and um, been talking a lot to the uh, developmental team behind that game as well. I'm working slyly on that as well, uh, in any way, which way I can, just literally trying to do anything. Do you need um, some Sharpies? Send them some Sharpies. That literally happened. <laughs> I was, you think I'm making that up? Wait a second, I've got more, because they've asked some more. Wait. Oh no, the, the pens have gone everywhere, but that's literally the box that... Proof. This is a second box of very specific Sharpies that apparently you can't get in the States. What is wrong with you lot? Um, anyway, you can't get these very specific Sharpies apparently. So, they're being sent over. I've sent over one box already and there's another one going now because they like them so much apparently. Such weird people. But um, anyway, that's a uh, EP that I did before all of the kind of more recent communication with them has happened. I did some songs for them, and um, we've done a song for one of their other games before, um, which has probably broken the uh, illusion again. But um, so I'm being cryptic again. I'm going to stay cryptic though because it's really cool, and I want it to be wanted to be interesting actually what's interesting is we just got another silver play button from youtube for the channel that we've been running that is about their game entirely about their game um which is really cool got sent here for some reason because it's not even our office um must be the office is linked to the youtube page don't know um anyway that's uh it's something i'm really interested and 
I guess if I said the library, it might help you. Uh, if you're into that game, you'd know what that was at least. Um, that is as much as I'm going to give you in terms of what I do for that game, what I have been doing for the last six years for that game, and what I'm doing now for that game. Um, so that's that. Uh, what else have we got? I think that's everything in terms of currently. No, no, it's nowhere near. Sorry. Um, sorry. No, there, so there are three albums still to come in 2017. Regardless of what albums I make in 2017, there are three ready. Um, one of them is not, um, one of them is just different. And then the other two are, other two are gaming e things from ages ago. Like this is just stuff I should have released like last year and and even before that. Like these should have been out a long time ago. But then something always came in the way and I did something else or like one of those albums only just finished the artwork. I swear I've been working on the artwork for about nine months. Um because it's I, you know what I'm like when it comes to the artworks. No one solved the riddles in Zombies One physical I don't know, I don't know anyone's got the full artwork for that actually. That might be why. And then Zombies 3, the artwork, no one solved that, even came close. They solved the really obvious one, but then the actual artwork is a riddle, um, which no one solved. And that's like uh, that's like easy mode compared to what we're doing now. After Monad came out and the artwork in that, which again is really, you can get very deep into that artwork. If you start staring at it, um, you'll notice what's going on in the background. Um, there's some amazing things in the background there. And... Uh, Lots of hidden things in that artwork too, but you know I'm like I like to do all that stuff, and um, they'll come out when they're ready, I guess. Um, well, they are ready. It's just it's just prepping things, public publicizing them as well. You know I don't really have a footing in. in I mean I have a footing death wise, but not really. I don't think I. I don't know if it'd even go on any of my gaming channels. That um, I don't think it would. Either of those albums aren't really anything to do with my gaming channels. I, I have channels for other games, so it's like. It's such a specific set of albums. Um, so that's those three. Um, I'm going to be producing Chrome Man Callum's album uh, next year. We've already started work on that. But um, that's really interesting to me because it's... Uh, can you even hear me? Sorry, my mic is turned. Um, that's really interesting to me because it's such a an interesting take on... I guess you would call it hip-hop, but it's... I think it's like Quiet One meets hip hop. It's really strange. Um, loving that. That's uh, that's totally on my street. And I fucking love working on that. So we're going to be finishing that off um, uh, next year, which is really enticing to me. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Quiet One record next year. I think it's about time, but I need a little bit of headspace for that. But um, we're going to be doing another Quiet One record next year, which is. I was going to do a quick one at the end of this year, and I may end up doing the quick one thing still just to do something. Um, there's an there's a album of B-sides as well that I've been working on that's, um, that's being worked on right now, being mastered right now. Literally from tapes. Uh, tapes, I had like a two-track Tascam recorder thing. Um, some old Pro Tools demos that I found. And then some unheard songs. There's... Um, Oh god, what are they called? What about me? It's, it's not, I don't think these will be the titles of it, but the one of them's called What About Me. One of them's called News. Um, one is called The Dragon, but it has actually nothing to do with the song. It was just a title. I don't know why I called it that. Um, and there's another one. I can't remember what that's called. One with the ukulele, and I think it's just called Ukulele Song. So Ukulele Song. Um, but these are all kind of unreleased things from both. Um, I think Dragon and News were from the original Quiet One album. They weren't finished at the time, but I think the end of 2014 I finished them um, and just left them, didn't use them again. Um, and then there were some that were kind of B-sides or extras when I was doing Dark Horse, the, uh, the Upside Down EP, um, but specifically Dark Horse, and I was writing that song, and they were kind of like additional parts or an entirely additional song as well the ukulele one um so it's from a good span then there was also i think it's four tracks from my q sessions i did some live work at uh, q gardens in london for quite one oh um this year i think yeah this year but early early on in this year and that was amazing um and the crowd response was really cool from that i don't know if anyone actually heard of 
I don't think anyone had heard of quite one before, or at least maybe a couple of people, the people who invited me. And um, but the, the people like afterwards, like asking, to, I didn't bring any CDs with me. I didn't. I didn't think it was right to do that. And um, people were asking all these details and stuff. And I didn't get anyone asking me about the Duck Horse song, which was good because I did play that. But uh, anyway, that was that was an injury. I think that was my. Oh no, I've done one gig since then in Brighton. Um, but that was my before that. I've only done a couple of quiet one gigs this year. Um, whereas last year I was doing like, it felt like one a weekend. It probably wasn't, but I did at least 30 gigs the year before. Um, and I really want to get back into doing that this year. And um, I might even do it under the quiet one name. That would be scary, wouldn't it? But that would be interesting. I just like playing. There's something about playing a kind of faceless gig that is so much more appealing. Because there's no... Um, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So, uh, so anyway, that's quite one, and that's coming out. And then uh, I've got a two down single as well, about to drop, which is really cool. Um, it's currently called Rivers, although that will change by the time it's out. Um, there's a whole load of stuff coming this year, basically. Don't right. And if you need a quiet one upside down pillow, then you can get a quiet one upside down pillow, which looks like it's made in silk. I don't know how these are made, but this looks like it's made of silk. It's so soft. I don't remember. Is it this way around? No. It's this way around. Funny if it was this way around. <laughs> it's a very windy day. No. Um, thank you very much, guys. And um, uh, if you ever need her merch, then we've got enough merch here to drown a baby. Um, if you ever want an inch, let me know and I'll send it your way. But. Um, if not, you can find it all on the web store anyway. And uh, that's it, I think. I think that's pretty much all of the releases covered. Um, I'm looking at a guitar over there. I'm about to make a video today about a very special guitar that Fender and I created together. And um, we'll be talking more about that today. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Oh, have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Apologies. How rude of me. Have a very Merry Christmas and a very productive and, hmm, fuck it, joyous New Year. Thank you. Bye.